Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is January 3rd, 2018. I keep wanting to say 17. I'm not used to doing the 18 yet. Uh, not a bad day here at the homestead. Actually warmer today. Was in the low 20s. So, but uh, we're gonna be facing some really, the next like three days are gonna be like really seriously cold. So, eh, it is what it is. Good old New York. In January but uh, so anyway I wanted to do a video today and I wanted to talk about a sleeping giant and there's a couple things that I find really really interesting um, things that are going on and uh, so I wanted to just kind of go over these things with you guys real quick and just something to be aware of so the sleeping giant I am talking about is Yellowstone National Park okay uh, I did a video, a few videos on this before, and, uh, you know, people say to me, you know, what are you getting ready for, what, you know, what do you think could happen, blah, 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 and all those type of things, and um, I, I'm not sure if people are aware, is, you know, aware of things as they should be, but there are several super volcanoes in the world, okay, and uh, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when they go off again, so it's going to happen, you know, it, it Every um, eruption doesn't have to be, you know, a uh, cataclysmic uh, type of an event. You know, there's smaller eruptions from those type of volcanoes. But um, if ever, anybody remembers Mount St. Helen that went off uh, back in the 80s. And, uh, you know, if you remember that one, that was pretty wild to watch that one. I think they were saying that uh, Yellowstone would be like... A thousand times worse if I'm not mistaken it could have been greater than that but I believe they said it would be like a thousand times worse and uh, you know the amount of stuff that would be put into the upper atmosphere and it would block out the Sun and it would have an effect on the planet for many many years so and again like I said it's not just Yellowstone there's definitely other uh, super volcanoes out there but Yellowstone is very active and um, and, of course, I'm going to get people that are going to jump on here and say, Oh, I was at Yellowstone and everything is fine. Well, that's that's great. That's absolutely wonderful. And I'm happy for you. But the reality is, at some point in the future, it could be five years, it could be 5,000 years. And people will make that point as well, which is very nice. Thank you for pointing that out. I know the facts of what it is. Um, Yellowstone will go. It is a very, very active volcano. And a couple things that I find interesting, and uh, I don't know if any of you guys watch Mary Greenlee at all, she does like daily updates on Yellowstone. She's really focused on it. She's out in that area, and she pays really close attention to what's going on. And a couple of things that I found interesting. They changed out a bunch of the monitors, and now all of a sudden there's an underreporting of, of earthquakes. Out in there and what's going on out there uh, the magma chamber is rising and you know there is a lot going on okay now again let's just say I don't want you guys living in fear it's not what this is about this is not about fear porn uh, I, I don't I don't go with that at all I just put stuff out there I explain stuff and you can make your own conclusions from it you know I mean we're all adults we all have our opinions and so you know, I want you to take your own thought process in this and make your own decisions, okay? The reality is uh, the worst of the worst natural disasters that could happen would be a Yellowstone event or a similar super volcano going. Uh, it would change the world. I mean, it's not, it's not a, uh, a thing that would be just a temporary problem or anything. No, it would be many, many years uh, and it would be a game changer. Uh, the last super volcano that went was Toba, and when they said basically, and I and I said this in my other video as well, when Toba went, it was uh, let's see, they said when it the dust settled basically years and years afterwards, the you know, the entire population of the world was down to less than ten thousand people, so it killed off almost everybody in the planet at that time. Now couple advantages we have in modern society we have a lot more we're more technically savvy and stuff like that so that really really truly helps okay but the number of people that would perish 
would be catastrophic. I mean, it would be most of the people in the world would die from this event, even with our modern technology. Now, would the power elite that have underground bunkers that they could live under there for 10 years with no issues, would they survive? Yep, they sure would. <laughs> but, you know, the thing is, and they would come out to a world that was a lot less populated than what we have now. So, you know, and there would be other people that would survive it. I mean, there's definitely, you know, people that would adapt, they would overcome, and they would survive it. But it would not be the world that we have now. And uh, But again, our modern technology would definitely give us uh, a greater advantage in, an, in such an event as, you know, um, what other people have. So anyhow, uh, you know, in the, in the past, in the past events, I'm saying. So, but there's an underreporting going on of the volcanic activity at Yellowstone. Uh, the earthquake swarms, the uh, ground deformation. Now, am I saying that I think that Yellowstone is going to go right away? No, I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, along with Yellowstone, there's many other things to keep an eye on. And I'm a big believer in you keep an eye on different things and you watch what's happening. Here's a, here's a fact that a lot of people won't even realize. The government is going to tell you that everything is fine until it is not fine, as far as a Yellowstone event goes, because they realize the mass panic a Yellowstone event would cause. I mean, people would lose their mind way before the volcano ever erupted. So, you know, they would try to keep it from us as long as they possibly could. You know, and again, it, my, my philosophy, again, with, with everything and anything that I do, you know, you prepare for the worst and you hope for the best. And that's all any of us can do. And uh, an event like that, I mean, I, even as prepped up as I am, I'd be in trouble. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I don't have an underground bunker or shelter or something like that that I could go to ground at this point. So, um, you know, I, you know, it would be a very, very bad thing. And uh, I'm not going to lie. Yellowstone is one of the ones that scares the crap out of me, I'll be honest with you. But uh, anyway, you know, like I said, it's something to definitely keep an eye on. Uh, keep track of, even though, like I said, they're underreporting it, there's all kinds of alternative news out there. Uh, you know, like I said, Mary Greenlee is one of the channels and, uh, you know, to watch. And she's always reporting on what's happening out there. And she'll show you, she'll show you the graphs how, you know, they're underreporting the earthquakes. And uh, I just, I find that very interesting. And, uh, you know, like I said, you're not hearing a lot about Yellowstone in the news at all uh, because they don't want it to be out in the news. So I find that interesting as well. And uh, we had uh, some major, major swarms of earthquakes this last year at Yellowstone, way more than normal, okay? there, You know, people say, well, there's thousands of earthquakes every year. Yeah, but there's usually not like a thousand earthquakes in a month, okay? Uh, you know, so generally over a course of a year, there's probably like 2,000 earthquakes at Yellowstone, but you don't generally have a thousand earthquakes in a, in a you know, four-week period of time. And that's what was going on, okay? And there, the activity continues. So it's definitely, like I said, it's one of those things that we need to keep an eye on. Uh, you know, check how far away from Yellowstone you are. See what the zones are saying, where the destruction would be, where the death would be. Uh, I believe that they said that everything within a 100-mile radius of Yellowstone, um, when it explodes, will be toast. So, I mean, that's... If you live near Yellowstone, you might want to rethink where you live. But, uh, you know, and it depends. I mean, the, the winds obviously travel from west to east. So if you're on the other side of, you know, Yellowstone, if, unless it went that way, that's going to blow everything this way to the East Coast. So, you know, those are, those are things to think about. I mean, I'm, I'm a good distance away. I think I'm uh, 1,200 miles uh, from Yellowstone. But we would still be affected. I mean, we would actually, that, this far away, we would still get ash. I think that they had said, like, we would get like an inch of ash even 1,200 miles away. So, I mean, that is freaking wild, in my opinion. I'm just like, man, that, that would be... Uh, the breadbasket in the Midwest, forget about it. That would be done. And here's the thing to think about, too. The breadbasket in the Midwest feeds 40% of the people in the world. So think about that. I mean, if you take that out of the equation, you know, you can no longer grow that food. What happens to those people? They starve, you know. Um, 
as you guys know, I'm always a very big proponent of food, food, food. Obviously, there's many other things that you need to prepare for as well. Uh, you know, it's just... Different things intrigue me. Yellowstone intrigues me. Um, always has, always will. And, uh, you know, think about all this snow, but all the time for years, all over the country. Uh, the, the, the temperature of the planet would be decreased. You know, I mean, it would be... It would be a very scary thing, guys. Real, real scary thing. So something to think about. Just wanted to have a chat with you about Yellowstone. Um, I definitely want your feedback on this. I want your thoughts. Uh, you know, and uh, tell me what you guys think, okay? So um, remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, remember, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever goals you're trying to reach, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. And the only one that's going to stop you from doing that is yourself. And, uh, you know, just keep prepping. Just keep getting ready because we never know what's going to happen. Uh, it could be, you know, something, just an event that affects you or it could affect your town or it could affect your city. It could affect the state or it could affect the whole freaking country or the whole world. So very scary things. Okay, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.